Hi Scorpio, welcome to your June general reading. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're returning, thank you, thank you. And if you're new, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on and watching and I hope you enjoy this and I hope it resonates for you. And if you're new, please check the description box below for any and all information that you need is there. All kind of links, uh, private reading information, anything you need is down there. So please go take the time to check that out. And uh, to all those who have reached out for personal readings, those who have blessed me with a tip or donation to my channel, and um, new subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. So thank you so much. So uh, Scorpio, we'll get on with your general reading here. So please take only what resonates, throw away the rest, including signs mentioned. Um, if this doesn't resonate for you, you can check other signs in your chart and there's a link below to get your full birth chart. So you can do that. And this reading can be for sun, moon, rising and Jupiter. I'm not going to say Venus because Venus is for love and I've already done the love readings. So if you're uh, first time watching me, you can check the box below for links to all past Scorpio readings. Um, and if you want to speed up this reading, go into the settings, playback speed, and you can speed it up so it goes along faster for you. So Scorpio, let's see what we have for you with this deck here. This is the Zodiac deck. All the decks have been pre-shuffle cut, meditated on before camera. I do shuffle more on camera, so please be patient with the shuffling. So with this deck here, Zodiac deck, we will see what energy could be around you in the month of June. We may get a sign, element, or planet energy. And again, if you're not dealing with this or this part doesn't resonate for you, that is totally fine. So let's see. We have, oh, we got Mercury energy, which is Gemini. Mercury energy, which is Gemini. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could have Gemini in your chart. Someone around you could have Gemini in their chart. If you're watching this and Scorpio is not your sun sign, maybe uh, Gemini is. Just because uh, I see like the sun back here. So maybe Scorpio is your moon sign and you relate more to your moon sign and you're watching and you're like, well, wow, Gemini is my sun sign. So, I mean, however it resonates for you and Mercury is about truth, clarity, um, communication, you know, standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in. So let me just read a little bit about Mercury because I don't want to miss anything because I'm not an astrologist. So um, let's see here. It's all about the mind. Uh, and that's what it says right here. Intelligence, communication, um, desire to share ideas and be heard, uh, yearning for further education, so it's all about the, anything to do with the mind, uh, communication, speaking, truth, clarity, all that type of energy. So we'll see how that plays into your reading, Scorpio. So with this deck here, we will get your secret message for June. We'll get what you need to know the most. What does Scorpio, and I almost said Gemini, so you definitely could have Gemini heavily in your chart. Or Gemini around you in some way. This is a general reading. So it could be a friend, co-worker, family member, or if you can fit it into a love situation, you can do that as such. But I'm going to read this reading general in a general reading format. But we'll see what comes out. So what is the message most needed for Scorpio in the month of June for the general reading spirit, please? What is the message most needed for Scorpio? And we have one card. All right, I'm feeling that one is sticking out. And I will go over the bottom of the deck also. Nothing has gone wrong. Number seven. And seven is a divine number. Your spirit guides, angels, divine energy around you. Um, let me just read a little bit. Number seven. Here, see if there's a message for somebody. I won't read the whole thing. Just uh, let's see. Uh, deep within, you have been craving change, and this situation brings new and different experiences to your life. You may be feeling a little lightheaded and dazzled by the brilliance of this expanded version of you, but you are doing it so well. You are doing so well. It is now 
time to catch your breath and settle into your new outlook. This is an opportunity to look at your thoughts, ideas, your reactions, and your potential success. And that's the Mercury energy. All about your thoughts and ideas. Wow. As you become aware and implement change, you can rise above the limits people or situations have placed on you. This card depicts the trigram of I Ching with the yin and yang symbol. This is a reminder that everything changes, but that nothing can exist in our physical plane without its opposite. And neither is superior to the other. You can't stop anything that has manifested, but it can serve as inspiration to create new paths aligned with your soul truth. So you may be aligning to your soul's truth and heading in a new direction, having a big change in your life and it's all meant to be you may feel like something has gone wrong or you're on the wrong path or something uh, maybe you feel like it's something bad that happened but I feel like it's all part of God's plan divine's plan for you that whatever you're going through whatever new path you're going down it's meant to be that way because in the end result here you'll have this very balanced energy because in the end nothing will go wrong it it is all meant to be how it is supposed to be. All right, so let's see. It's on the bottom of the deck here. We have soul mating. Wow, so <laughs> that could be anybody. That could be a friend, family, a uh, co-worker. It could be your dog, it could be your cat. It can be also a love interest or person, but it doesn't have to be. So let me read. 34, wow, 34 again, with seven, double confirmation here, seven. I feel like you're being divinely guided to your true self, true self purpose. It's almost like your soul mating with your true inner self, realizing who you are, what you are, what you need to do, what path you need to go down, and maybe finally expressing yourself with the mercury energy, expressing your ideas, your thoughts, having clear cut communication, Maybe it's caused some tower moments along the way. Maybe you're thinking, maybe this isn't the right path, the right choice, the right way to go for me. But in the end, it's going to take you where you need to be. Wow. So I don't even think I need to read out of the book for that. <laughs> All right. So let's get the tarot here. This is the good tarot. All the decks are listed below. Okay, so let's see what's going on, Scorpio. What's going on for you, Scorpio? These cards are hard to shuffle for me because I have little hands. So, <laughs> all right, let's get one more good shuffle, please. So what's going on with Scorpio? We'll get one card here to see how you're feeling in the month of June. How is Scorpio feeling in the month of June? Can we have one card for Scorpio Spirit, please? How many do we have there? Two? I'll take two. And then we'll take from the top. So we have the High Priestess and the Three of Fire. Wow, so, <laughs> so here's that High Priestess energy. Cancer or Pisces, but this is being very in tune, in touch, following your instincts, follow your gut um, feelings, and knowing, and you know, intuitively, you know, you need to do what's best for you. Um, but the High Priestess doesn't say much, so maybe you've been thinking about making these big plans, these big changes, going in a new direction, but you haven't told anybody you're keeping it to yourself making plans because here's the three of fire energy three of wands leo sagittarius um and that's you know setting out on a new journey but still three of wands energy is kind of waiting but i feel like in this depiction here you're already in that boat your ship has come in and now you're setting out on that journey already so i feel like you've waited and now you're setting out on that journey here but you have this energy of you haven't told anybody or you're about to tell everybody embarking you embarking on a new journey so let's see why you are feeling this way so we have the six of cups 
energy. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, that's your energy. And we have the chariot again. Wow. Okay. Con just confirming that, that you're already moving forward here. Already moving forward in a new direction. You see the yin and yang, yin and yang. This new direction, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, in the long run will take you where you need to be. You just have to ride it out. There might be troubled waters along the way. Like I said, you might have some tower moments along the way and you might feel maybe I didn't write the, make the right choice or I may not be going in the right direction. But in the long run, seven again, seven, 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 three sevens. You are definitely being divide, uh, divinely guided here. I think you're aligning with the soul many. You're aligning with your true self, with your higher self, with the divine and being guided here to go in the right direction. And you would know that you know that with the high priestess energy and then you have the six of cups energy um thinking back on the past you may be just reminiscing thinking back um about your past all the things that you may be leaving behind and moving forward just kind of you know reminiscing and being nostalgic and um just thinking of those memories from the past but I think you're moving forward from that with the chariot energy. So let's see what your actual situation is, Scorpio. So we have the seven of air, the seven of swords. Hmm. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The four of air. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And the page of fire. Leo Sagittarius. So right in the middle of the spread here is you have the four of air. So I think we're, you know, and here's the two energies of thinking. So I think, you know, you're feeling very bored, disenchanted, melancholy, wherever your life path is right now, because you're aligning with your true self, being divinely guided, intuitively knowing you need to make changes because you have two cards of moving forward. Right now, I feel like you're in a stalemate. You're bored. You're disenchanted. You need to make a big change here. And here's the page of ears. So this is, you know, communication. Um, this could be maybe it was a new offer that came into you, a new uh, endeavor to um, to seek out on. Um, it could be anything or it could be you just passionately now communicating because you did have high priestess up here. So now this is you maybe just passionately communicating to all your loved ones, whoever, you know, this is what I'm doing now. This is what I need to do for me. I'm just very bored and melancholy and disenchanted. I need to, you know, make this big change. Seven of ear. Maybe some people feel like you're deceiving them that you're turning your back on them, that you're, you know, leaving them and they feel left out and neglected kind of energy. And I don't, don't think you're intentionally doing that. And then this also can be people around you too. I also, I feel that's you feeling that way. And I also feel with you telling people I'm moving forward now with my new passion, um, my new excitement, whatever endeavor you're going on. And I think it's causing people here to feel <sighs> deceited in some way and also sad and bored also that you're like moving forward in a new direction. I think they didn't see it coming, but you're ready to go in that direction. So let's see what your um, advice is moving forward. The King of Water, and there's your energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Wow. There you are. And the Six of Air, Six of Swords. So there's that movement again. Double confirmation with the ship we had here. The ship of again, again, leaving things behind that no longer serve you. Standing in your power and moving on and, find, and being so at peace with yourself knowing this is what you need to do here with this air energy libra gemini aquarius which is the mercury energy of gemini this is you know just moving forward in that new direction where you'll feel more at peace be calmer waters for you 
standing in your power and moving forward in a new direction. Wow. So let's see what your outcome will be. The Ten of Fire, Ten of Wands. So, you know, this is an ending. So, you know, whatever was burdensome to you, wherever you felt bored and disenchanted and just maybe you had just a lot of boredom, boredom and um, burdens, and now you're just getting rid of, rid of them, you're ending them, and you're moving in a new direction, getting rid of what no longer serves you, putting those burdens down, just healing and, you know, heading and in healing probably in a new direction. Laying down all those burdens. The outcome will be ending, completion. Completion here with the ten of fire. You see the circle here of completion, ending things, going in a new direction. And after the 10 would be one, would be a new beginning. So a new beginning on the horizon, laying down all those burdens, going in a new direction. Wow. So top of the deck, let's get some clarifiers for you. The six of five. Wow. Six. Here's another ship. How many ships can we get? We have one, two, one, two, one, two, and three. Is that three? Yeah, three ships now. Success. Success, victory, accomplishment, accolades, being uh, victorious. So fire energy. Yep, this will be a good move for you. You may not, you may, like I said, you may have some turbulence along the way because you have the seven of swords energy there. So people may think that you are deceiving them or hurting them in some way when you're really not. Or they might just feel that way. It's their own ego. But in the end, you're doing what is right for you. And you will have your own personal victory and success here. Moving forward passionately. The sun. Didn't I just say that? And doesn't these two look like the sun? Wow. Leo energy now. So, yep, there's your success, your victory, your healing. A happy home and family. Contentment. Pure bliss. Yep, going in the right direction here to your happiness, to your success, your victory. Ten of air, ten of swords, again with completing cycles, ending cycles, what's no longer serving you, and going in a new direction. So you're completely done with whatever situation you're in now. You're done. You're just done. You've had enough. You're moving on, going in a whole new direction. Whatever it is for you, it could be career. It could be a passion project, an endeavor, whatever it is for you, going in this new direction. So here's your energy, Scorpio, with judgment call. Yep, you're making that final judgment call, and you're just moving on, Scorpio. This is, you know, about forgiveness and giving second chances, but I'm not getting that energy I'm getting the energy of you finally just making this judgment call to move on, end things no longer serving you, and doing what's best for you. Scorpio, wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Well, I just flipped another from the top, and now we have the Empress. So, Libra or Taurus doesn't have to be, so definitely just stepping into your Empress power here into your empress power doing what's best for you you know your worth you know what you need to do you're standing your ground you know going in this new direction will bring you so much growth and abundance stability wealth prosperity yep wow okay so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now the three of water the three of cups so you could be, you know, embarking on a new journey with a new soul tribe, um, new community, um, a new social group, whatever it is with you. I think just here rejoicing, uniting, coming together, celebrating, being happy with a new tribe that um, is perfect for you moving forward. There's your energy. Now the two of water. And I had said at the beginning, I think you're coming in align with your true self. And here's the two of water energy. Can be two people coming together as one. Can be this new soul tribe, uh, group, whatever it is for you. 
and also the two of water of you being perfectly aligned and tuned in touch with your true self with the two of cups energy that's your energy again and now the five of water five of cups so you know you had the six of cups over over where was it over here thinking back you may feel a little sadness and loss about some things you may have to leave behind in this energy and some people that uh, around you may feel some sadness and loss also but you're being determined here with the king of fire energy you're being very determined here to follow your heart's passion and just move forward to this victorious sunshine here to your true happiness doing what's best for you wow yep your true heart's passion and happiness and moving forward all right so let's see scorpio let's get a card of advice for you and i'm getting i've done um five readings so far and i'm getting all of the generals kind of the same message of moving forward in a new direction so i don't know that time of year, I guess, or it could be whatever moon we're in right now. I'm not an astrologist or a moon expert, so <laughs> I just read tarot and oracle. That's what I do. All right, so can we have one? Oh, that's way too many. One card for Scorpio. What's their advice moving forward in June? The message most needed, advice most needed. The sign of Scorpio for June spirit, please. Can we have one card? for Scorpio. There we go. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So you're you're grateful. You're appreci you have appreciation for what you've had in the past, the things you went through, the lessons you've learned, the blessings you've had. And now you're moving forward and also in that same energy of these new opportunities and this new direction that you're going in. And this new opportunity that you're going in and see this kind of looks like an eye to me so definitely having that third eye wide open because you did have the high priestess as one of your main energies the beginning coming out being in tune in touch third eye open following your heart's passion wow look at this following your heart's passion moving forward being truly aligned with your true self wow and what was on the bottom there inward revolution exactly six there so yep having that inward revolution of being perfectly aligned to your true self and doing what's best for you yep on the bottom of the deck here whoops we have relationships i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good exactly and i feel like with the three of cups and the two of cups not only are you, being, you, are you being perfectly aligned with your true self, you're also being aligned with um, your perfect soul tribe, your social group, whatever setting it is for you. You have these new relationships here that are going to serve your highest good. And what's that? Oh, in reverse. And then we have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Exactly. Having that perseverance to move on with the king of fire energy, the king of cups energy, standing in your empress power. Wow. Okay, Scorpio, I'll keep moving forward. I hope this resonates for you. And uh, I see a good positive outcome. Keep moving forward in whatever you're doing. You may have doubt sometimes um, that you're going in the right direction is what I'm feeling. But I believe here that you are, so keep moving forward because you have success and victory here with the sun and the six of wands right together here so keep moving forward so you have like three or four cards here with the ships of moving forward so keep moving on scorpio okay scorpio i hope this resonated for you and if it did please do like share subscribe um hit the bell to be notified when i post new readings be greatly greatly appreciate appreciated comment i do love to read the comments so best of luck to you sending you much light love and blessings and as i always always say with my channel as with the sun here is to always always shine your light